Well, we're back on the Reliant Regal again, but I've got the axle out again. Unbelievable, let's show you why. Right, well as you know, we had the uh, axle in the Reliant Regal chassis and all I had to do was plumb in the uh, brakes and the fuel pipe and stuff like that. And because it's been sitting outside for a few months now, a good few months, I've only just realized that underneath, on the floor directly below where the axle was, there was a wet patch. That wet patch was actually axle oil and it was coming out between the only things I didn't separate, which was the main axle body, and there's two paper seals that sit around the uh, flanges which I've never I didn't disturb so unfortunately I'm gonna have to drain the air uh, the axle oil out and I'm gonna have to change these paper seals which I probably won't be able to get hold of and we'll probably have to make them so I'm gonna start off by draining the axle out and then we're gonna have to unbolt these bolts all the way around separate it I've got to make a copy of the paper oh, <laughs> I've got to make a copy of the paper axle and then we're gonna have to um, hopefully solve the problem so I'm going to turn this over and make a start on this. Right, okay, so I've undone all the nuts and bolts around the hub. I haven't taken the drive shafts out. I'm hoping for this section I can just drift it apart. Simple reason being is that I've got no one here to hold it because the, the end nuts are very, very tight and I need this sort of held so it's a two person job or my air gun which I haven't actually got here. So that's all the nuts out now. So what I'm gonna do now is just to settle that back on there like that. Okay. And I'm just gonna try drifting this back Gently, just hoping it will separate, which it has. There we go. Right, okay. So that should come off on the drive shaft itself. There we go. There we go. So that's the drive shaft come out of that one. So let's have a look here. It doesn't actually appear that there is a gasket on there. That's metal. And looking at this side, that's metal as well. I'm sure there should be a gasket in there. So uh, I'm quite surprised with that. So I'll just drift off the uh, the other side now. As I say, I didn't want to disturb the, the nut down that end if I could help it. And I just hope that I can just wiggle these back in again and obviously fit it back up again. So I'm just going to try and do the same to the other end now. It is a little bit awkward because I'm here on my own. Now, I suppose I should mark this up. Uh, which one went where? So if I'm standing towards the back of the car, here, that's the top and that's the right hand side one. We'll just try to give this one a little tap and see if we can drift this one out the same. Be careful, I don't want it to drop on the floor. <laughs> oh, straight away. Not hard, I'm not hitting hard there, don't forget. Would help to have two people here when you're doing this sort of stuff, I know, but. This is where I must need to take this bolt out now and drift, get the flywheel puller and pull that drive shaft out of the hub in there. If I remember right, it did go over a bit of a pop when I actually put it back in the last time. We was pretty lucky getting the other end out the way we did, but uh, hey ho, these things are sent to try us.
sometimes you just got to improvise. Right, just undo these little drum screws there, take the drums off. Again, I thought I'd finished all this. There we go. There we go. Drums off, see they don't like being left outside, look. So, that's just sitting outside. Right, now before I had to get the hub puller on this. And it just so happens that I've got one. carrier off of the shaft that's not quite what I wanted so now maybe I might have to drift the whole shaft out now all right so I'm thinking if I get a screwdriver if you look through there you can actually see the shaft if you can get a screwdriver long enough that's just enough to tap that drive shaft out hopefully Uh, there we go. Come on, baby. Get that out of there. There we go. There we go. And yet again, no, no um, gasket on there whatsoever. So let's put that to one side. Gives us a good chance to examine this uh, pinion wheel as well while we're here, which literally floats up and down in there. And that means that I can really examine these teeth. And basically, there is no wear on them whatsoever. So it's a low mileage vehicle. Whether or not it's been off before, I don't know. I'm sure these had a gasket on them from the factory. This doesn't appear to have a gasket on it, might have had some sort of mating fluid on it. Hello, yeah. darling. Hello. Come in here. Oh, hammer. Yeah, be careful, darling. So, as we can see, I've got a couple of helpers here, and your name is. There's no one in here. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello. That's <laughs> Emily, and this is. George. George. As you can see, I've got the axle out of the Reliant Regal. The um, the rear axle had a bit of a problem. It had a bit of a leak on it, George. Didn't it? So, Granddad's had to take it out and we're gonna to have to put some paper gaskets on it so let's go inside i'm gonna wash my hands up now we'll do that a bit later i'm gonna have a look online to see if i can source a new gasket for either side of this first of all and uh we'll see you a little bit later on maybe in the next video until then say bye for now bye bye bye, -bye everybody come on in